Hello everyone, my name is Carrie Johnson and welcome to my channel. Take a look at this initial case file setup. All right, I am back. So my initial file case set up. Let me get my hands off. All right, so my initial file setup is like so, with my name right here. This is how I set up things for myself relating to my own personal medical malpractice cases. Um, I, label, uh, I label New York jurisdiction Johnson C. birth Columbia, Harlem, Homeless Medical Partnership. I pretty much have it logged. Log of communication on case, the physical year. And then let's say my daughter is, she's able to know, okay, log of communication. Maintain accurate log of all forms of communication are recorded under this section with the date, time, point of contact and any notes with initials of who was working on the case file. So my daughter can take a look at that and see like, oh, okay, that's what, what's going on. So for example, I might have my daughter call um, the defendant CHHMP in Harlem, New York um, to see whether or not patient's notes um, are available for pickup. Then I've got the complaint here, physical year 2022. The initial date for the start of this, the opening of this file is 2-3-2022. And what is a complaint? So my daughter will look at it and she'll say, oh, okay, let me put it down here. The initial complaint is the start of the legal proceeding on behalf of the plaintiff I would be the plaintiff, per se, that sets forth the case or cause of action, formal charge or accusation. In this particular case, it would be medical malpractice. That's why it's in a blue file folder. <laughs> um, then you have discovery portion right here, evidence. So discovery, like, oh, mom. The formal process of exchanging information between the parties about the witnesses and evidence they present at trial, evidence an item which a litigant proffers to make the existence of a fact more probable. And then my answer is over here. So Skyler can look and see the formal response given by the defense to a complaint filed with the court by the plaintiff. And then the case file log is the last the last section over here and I pretty much give instructions to my daughter. Um, under this section document was under this section document what has been done on the case file. For example, initial complaint was filed by our firm and awaiting defendant's response. So you always put in this, I'll have an example of logs of like, you put the date 
what was done on the file um, for that day and put her initials at the end so that I can see what she did work on the file and close it up and put it in the file cabinet. So, and again, this, this is not um, other people's cases. This is my real case. I've actually got a number of them. File folders of his setup on the couch. So I have that one there. And then another one, again, has New York jurisdiction Johnson C. versus Aperture Community Health Center. And then all of those are kind of just like, again, love of communication on the case, complaint, discovery, evidence. Um, the date, again, is 2 3 2022. Answer in case file log. So that's there. But you keep excellent records of each state in which you've had medical work done and get those patient notes. So, again, New York jurisdiction Johnson C. versus Planned Parenthood of NYC, Staten Island. So, again, I use my initial file set up. This is still the old school way of doing things, but again, this is just for personal pro se litigants. You know, resolve something to be done with it. But I'm doing this and showing people because I guess I was accused of being a fraud or something. I don't know. Don't necessarily know. But in the state of New New, New York. I pretty much came across one primary clinic that I was utilizing was Aperture, then um, ran into a great deal of issues with that clinic and tried to get my annual work physical exam done with CHHMP in Harlem. Difficulties there. And then Planned Parenthood also took care of an annual PAPS smear. It wasn't annual, but every three years a female is supposed to get an, a PAP smear. So I think it's three, every three years or so. So I was due for a PAP. So this is what's hanging over here. I'm going to put that down here. And what I have to do is transfer records. from these old files that I have, private health records. And I was pretty much putting a lot of stuff in these old files that some law firm in Manhattan was throwing out. So I, I pretty much took them out of the box that they, they were in, um, in the trash. And I pretty much, I got to transfer a lot of stuff from New York medical um, clinics into those blue file folders um, and start working on them. So there it goes. And that is for just the state of New York. For Boston, I have um, within the side, within inside the um, Pine Street Inn, they have a clinic and it's run by Boston care for the homeless. So that is another medical malpractice um, pro se suit um, for the patient notes and the misrepresentation, um, errors and omissions um, that was made discoverable to, made discoverable to me um, last year. And uh, for Boston jurisdiction, it was basically that clinic was the primary clinic in which I was using for dental services um, and an annual work physical exam. And then um, the ER hospital visits 
that were really just um, intentionally done. So that will be a separate jurisdiction and state that I'm going to put in a blue file folder that I have over there. But that is my case setup, initial file setup.